the Al Faim stage, stage one of the Abu Dhabi Tour for 2018, the fourth edition of the race as they rolled out from Madinat Zayed to Adnok School, 189 kilometers, pan flat and a bunch sprint, very much expected. In the neutralized rollout though, this happened. The lead car braked, causing a little bit of a pile up and one of the riders who went down was none other than the man who won this stage last year, Mark Cavendish. At first, what looked like an innocuous crash and a bit of attention from the medical staff then became a bit more serious. Mauro Vegni slowed the pace of the race down and the flag was delayed. When it eventually dropped, though, the attacks came. Mark Cavendish had rejoined the peloton, but later, not much later after that, abandoned the race with whiplash and concussion. The first attack of the day was the breakaway of the day. Five men got away. Albanese from Bardiani CSF, Charles Planet from Novo Nordisk, Damiano Caruso from BMC, Tom Skunge from Trek Segafredo, and Nikolai Trusov. And it was Trusov from Gazprom Rusvelo who took maximum points at the first of two intermediate sprints of the day. That put him in pole position in the intermediate sprints jersey with eight points. Tom Skunch then soloed away from the breakaway to take maximum points at the second and final sprint of the day. But Trusov's third place over the line was just enough to guarantee him the jersey at the end of the day. Then with 45 kilometers to go, the breakaway got themselves back together again, or at least most of them did. Tom Skunch eventually sitting up, and he was the first of the breakaway to give up. That left just four with 34 kilometers to go. And the whittling down process continued. The pace into a headwind in the final very, very slow indeed. Under 40 kilometers an hour in total due to a vicious headwind for the last 60K. Then Trusov and Albanese sat up. Caruso and Planet were the last men standing. Planet couldn't hold the wheel of the illustrious Italian from the World Tour team of BMC. And eventually Caruso, with a rueful smile, was caught too. That left the big sprint to unfold. Viviani had quick step floors on the left-hand side of the road, seemingly in a perfect position, but over on the right, the race exploded, and it was Caleb Ewan who won the last stage in the last edition of the race, trying to do the same again here, but he found Alexander Kristoff on his wheel. Kristoff peeled off and powered his way to the line, holding off a challenge from a fast-finishing Andrea Guadini, with Ewan and Viviani battling it out for third place. A big win then for Alexander Kristoff. With it, a 10-second time bonus, and the race lead in the red leader's jersey after stage one. Guadini in second place and Caleb Ewan in third in the general classification. Stage two, another expected bunch sprint.